Huh. Is it good or no? Yeah. How are y'all? Good, how are you? Good. Awesome. I think there's two bottles of men's cologne. I think that's all I got left. Gotcha. Is there Were you pulling out any other perfume or cologne? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Okay. No worries. You busy today? Yeah. Yeah. People were here at six fifteen, oh and I advertised seven, and it, so it was pretty. Wow, early, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to work a deal because those are, I mean, they're like sixty bucks. See? Yeah. This is what this one was for. Would you be willing to do a little bundle deal if I bought a bunch? And that was the and these ones right here? Yeah. 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 Uh, could I offer you a hundred for these three and this one? Those three and that one. Correct. 100. Yeah. This one. Well, that wasn't normal. Would you? You had picked out one. I got mine. You don't. You already got yours. It's over there. All right. Cool. You're good. Yeah. Good. And that's worth it. Let me okay. tell you. Yeah, for sure. You for know sure. those are good ones. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the deal. Yeah. Come here just for that. Yeah. I had to have one. One, two, three, four, five. There's a hundred bucks. Okay, thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you so thank much. You. All right, guys, we just stopped at a sale. Uh, Jamie's up there picking, but we just dug in a bunch of totes at a previous sale, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, we found an N64. I saw the controller sticking out, and I'm like, dude, oh, we got a dig for that. So, emptied out the tote, got the N64 out. Um, it's got two different power supplies and four controllers. They're all like the genuine Nintendo, but I mean the sticks are pretty bad. Like they're pretty loose. Um, they wanted 40 bucks. I asked if they'd do 20 and uh, they took it. So happy with that. Got a dollar on the fire alarm. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Everything is donation based in the middle. Okay. The only thing that's priced is along the tree line. It is a fundraiser yard sale. Um, Can I pay you? Yes, sir. Awesome. Is 10 bucks on this good? Well, yes, oh, sir. Whatever TV. you're willing to donate towards I appreciate this. it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Good. Hey, are y'all good? Good. How are you? Nice. As long as it works, it'll be good. Got five bucks for Casey. Yep. You are. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Be safe. Hi, you too. I love boxers. Hello. Good over you. Awesome. What are you asking on the boots? Twenty bucks. Twenty. Cool. Uh, anyone, my all your toys and stuff. So you I give money to one of you. Twenty bucks on the boots. Appreciate it. Thank you. And then I had a, a question on what is yours the nine? Is yours the five? Is yours Ours the fifty nine? <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, no, this is ours. Five bucks. Yeah, I okay. don't know what. I think that was the. I don't know where that came. I got a lot you. of our shoes came in with that white. 
Okay. Right. <laughs> it's hot out here. Jamie, your your southern accent's coming out down here. I know. <laughs> what are you asking? Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you asking on your Jim Shore stuff? On my what? Your uh your Disney and Peanuts oh, figures. Oh, oh, oh. Those are brand new. Can you believe that? Yeah. They're nice. Ten dollars. Ten dollars a piece. Yeah. Let's see, we got how many is that? What we say? What's Google say for you? They're they're all over the place. It's Maybe. so there's yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're all with there. So this goes here. He's all in their box still. Yeah. I just opened that box up, the ones that are sitting there. Yeah. Just yeah, to display them. If we bought them all, would you do 70? 75. Okay. That, that works. works. Appreciate that. If you want to pay in? We'll split them yeah. up later. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Would you take 35 on the camera? Go 40? Yeah, I'll do that. I appreciate it. Look, and here's a brand new bag for it over the shoulder. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you throwing that in? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take 20 for it. I will it's pass. It's never even been used. Nice. I want to pass, but I appreciate it. Sure. Thanks Thank for the you. deal. You what bet. about uh, these? That is really cool. Look at this thing. 1963. Still working. What's it worth? Probably 40 or 50. I think. Yeah. You, you said 10 on this one, right? 10. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can have it for 10. Do you have change? Uh, yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. Got the jams going up there. All right, the GoPro is long gone. Uh, there's already stuff that I got to do a haul video on, but uh, we picked up this Olympus Pro Quarter L400, and honestly, it looks new open box. Um, like the manual and stuff is still sealed. Um, the accessories are still sealed. That thing looks really nice. Um, I'm still gonna test it, make sure it's working. Um, but even for parts, these things are worth good money. We paid $100 for everything we have here. So basically $10 for this. And uh, yeah, these things are absolutely crazy. So be on the lookout for that. I saw one just sold brand new for $225 plus shipping. Um, but it looks like if this is uh, tested and working, probably get between 150 and 200 bucks for that. So that is insane. Um, and they had just totes and totes of like gun stuff, gun scope, uh, pieces, mounts, that kind of stuff. Um, and I went through and she wanted 15 a piece on stuff like this. Their prices were pretty high. Um, and I only picked out the ones that were worth uh, selling and it turned out that all the ones that said Ruger were the ones that were worth the $15 she was asking. And for each of these, I think we can get between 60 and 70 bucks. So yeah. 100 bucks for all that very good profit to be made all right guys we are back home and i got everything laid out i'm pretty sure this is the stuff that i didn't get to capture on film 
because uh, the GoPro ran out of battery. We were hitting sales all day. I mean, we probably hit sales for like eight hours. And uh, yeah, the batteries just do not last that long. And the SD card does not hold that much footage. So yeah, I'll go through and I'll try to I'll try to remember what I paid for everything if it's not uh, listed. But yeah, we hit a ton of sales, got a ton of stuff. Look at all this stuff. I just, I got a, I got a mess going. <laughs> I got a ton of work ahead of me. Um, but to provide you with some context of why we were down, we, we were down there really far in Tennessee. So if you don't know, I'm located in Monroe, Ohio. So we went down to Tennessee to do a bulk deal with uh, someone and we figured, we saw that there was a highway sale going on. I think it was Highway 70 sale. And it was like three hours away from where we were meeting this guy. We figured, screw it. Let's go do that. Uh, we like taking risks. We hit the sales and we hit them for like eight hours straight, like I said. And oh my goodness, it was super surprising, the stuff we found. So we were down there in Huntingdon, Tennessee. And that is like, I think like seven or eight hours away from here. So yeah, definitely a, a long haul. It's not something that we would have done if we didn't already like drive five hours to make a deal with someone. So yeah, that's why it made sense. So for those Jim Shore figures you saw, we bought those all. We paid $75 and then Jamie and I, we just kind of looked them up in the car and we divided them up. It's not a, a complete even split, but these are definitely up in the air on what their true value is. A lot of them have like one sold or... um you know auctions that kind of stuff but anyway so basically we're into them about eight dollars per figure um so we have this peanuts jim shore friendly franklin this one's weird because there's none sold but there's two like really high listings i think they're around a hundred dollars with watchers so i don't know that's potentially really good um but we'll see this other one is elsa anna and olaf um i think that one has sold comps to back it up or at least like watchers again and then Spring and Bloom, um, that might have had some sold comps. This Piano Prodigy, I think, was a lower end one. And same with this Catch a Wave, I think that was a lower end as well. But going to be super easy listings, and we're going to make good money on those. And then, uh, so the sale with this and this stuff right here, um, they were playing like Justin Bieber and stuff like that, jamming out. I respect it but I'm not gonna be able to show you that footage because it has all that copyrighted music going on. I might have thrown some clips in there. But anyway, we paid $3 for this Toshiba. Uh, it's a pretty fancy uh, DVD VCR combo. It is kind of scratched up as you can see, but that is a higher end model. It really surprised me. I think if it's testing and working, we can get at least 50 bucks, upwards of 75 without the remote. But I saw listings of $100 plus with the remote testing and working. So that's pretty awesome. And then $10 for this new inbox Delta shower head. And then this is something super simple. This Canon Pro Platinum photo paper. Pay two bucks. I think that's like 15 to 20 free shipping. And then funny enough, uh, you guys saw I had found a camera lens earlier in the day. And it was actually this exact same lens. And that one surprised me. That's like a $100 lens once again. And then I don't even know if this camera is worth much. EOS Rebel G. I don't think it is, but yeah, that lens is, that's a killer find for 25 bucks. And then they had another bag of camera stuff. I think, yeah, eight bucks and uh, got some good lenses in there. Pretty sure I've sold this one before. And then I don't even know, I don't think this lens anything crazy, but yeah, some good stuff there. And then once again, the camera body's probably not worth much. And then uh, we'll just start going through. Paid $5 for this Emerson VCR at another sale. And then we did hit a Goodwill uh, before the sale started uh, the first day. And got this really dirty Fun Eye uh, DVD VCR combo for 5 bucks, But that's great profit if it is working. Another sale, we got this new in-box Kohler. I believe it's a uh, like a lawnmower fuel pump, if I'm not mistaken. But I just scanned that. He charged me 20 bucks for it. I think that's around 100 bucks. Another sale that I potentially couldn't uh, show you the footage for, got this and a handful of shoes. Um, I just had to turn off the GoPro because they were playing music and I'm like, this footage isn't gonna be usable anyway. Paid $10 for this stereo cassette tape deck. It looks like even uh, for parts, I can probably get 30 bucks. If it's working, maybe 50. Um, and then 
the shoes I got there were these Doc Martens. Uh, they're the Airwear. See, it says Airwear in there. That's a high-end model. I didn't look these up, but for $10, bucks, i will take that chance. And then these Cole Hans. I started to not pick up Cole Hans, but these are just like super unique. Purple scales. Um, we paid... They charged me the lowest price that was on the bottom, which was five bucks right there. So yeah, for five bucks, I think that's like a $50 pair of shoes. And then we picked up these ones as well. These linesmen, um, they're Cardinal, so Car or Car Carolina, Carolina, uh, made in USA, vintage linesman boots. Uh, we paid, I think 20, 20 bucks for those. These boots found it at another sale. If you guys don't know, Ariat, very good brand to look out for. Uh, we paid 20 bucks for these, and these things are super fancy. Got the carbon toe, waterproof, lightly used for some work boots. Uh, look, Ariat ATS Max, maybe that's the model. But I did some light comping, and I think I can get at least 100 bucks for those. And then these ones, I think these are another pair of Ariats. No, these are Justin's. So... I don't remember what we paid for those, but those should be pretty good. It is the Justin 508 model. Um, and I'm, I thought there was another pair of boots, but maybe that was it. Oh, right here, right here. I just didn't bring them over. So I found these at another garage sale. These are Ariats as well. And they had, they did have something on there that said 18 bucks. I asked if they do 15 and they took that. Uh, these are women's. But they should still be pretty good. Really good condition. I almost forgot about these over here. Got this new inbox Thomas and Friends set. Uh, they charged me 10 bucks for that. I think that's around 35 plus shipping. And then at that same sale, they had this binder full of these like fancy, newer versions of Pokemon cards. And these are things that I've never dealt with. I've dealt with the older Pokemon cards, and that's what I grew up playing with. But these are all new to me. Um, I know like some of these V Maxes can be really good. Um, I paid forty bucks for the whole binder, which is I I know it's pricey, but I looked at it as I'm paying for education. And if I just break even while learning something, that's fine with me. Um, so let me know what what route you guys would take. I'm sure I'm not going to list these for a while. Um, I'm thinking lot up like the V Maxes, lot up like the Japanese cards. Um, but yeah, these all look pretty fancy. I don't know if this is the norm for, for these cards nowadays, but yeah. And then we have like the V models. Um, so yeah, I don't know guys, let, let me know how to approach this. All right guys, like I said, I don't know how much footage I got. I don't know how many things you guys saw me pick up or how sloppy it's gonna be. It was just one of those days where we were trying to hit as many sales as possible. I was taking the GoPro when it felt right, when I could. Um, I, I know I have like hours of footage to edit, so I would imagine you guys are going to get a pretty long video again. Let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys and you have a great day.